Uh, Mike Milstead is assured of winning another term as sheriff when voters in Minnehaha County cast their ballots in November. That's because Milstead is once again running unopposed. And this year marks Milstead's 25th year as the county's top law enforcement officer. And he is already looking forward to his next four-year term, as Perry Groton finds out in tonight's Eye on Cuddle Land. The November election will mark the sixth time Mike Milstead has run for sheriff unopposed. It either says that I'm doing a good job or nobody wants my job. I'm not sure which one. Milstead was a lieutenant with the Sioux Falls Police Department in charge of the night shift when the Minnehaha County Commission appointed him sheriff back in 1997. And the big focus of the night shift at that time was the problem that they were having on the downtown loop. And that was the problems that Sioux Falls was facing. I think the new night shift commander today would probably embrace having the loop as the big problem of the day. Throw in Milstead's time with the police department and he's approaching a half century in law enforcement. Still exciting after nearly 50 years between the two departments. Too exciting at times. Milstead's time in office has run parallel with rapid growth within the county and with that a rise in certain types of crimes including drug trafficking and deadly overdoses. We never saw deaths at the level that we do now. In our county, we've seen a 40% increase in one year and a 130% increase in the last five years in overdose deaths. Milstad says serving as chairman of the National Sheriff's Association Drug Enforcement Committee gives him a strong voice in addressing the nation's drug crisis. Milstad says he's also concerned about a rise in violent crime among juveniles, often encouraged by social media individuals that would have a propensity towards violence, they wouldn't have any friends in their school maybe or somebody to egg them on. But with social media, they can go in whatever room they want and find like-minded individuals to try to inspire them to do bad things. Well, I think he had a pretty large learning curve when he first started. A lot of people, even in law enforcement, don't f fully appreciate the complexity of the sheriff's role. And I think, obviously, once he started, he immediately realized that he had a jail to operate, which as a policeman, you don't really have to worry about the jail other than where to drop the people off. Another highlight of Milstead's career as sheriff was overseeing the construction of a new 400-bed state-of-the-art jail two decades ago and an expansion of the jail two years ago. When I first started, uh, the conditions we were working under were not the best for us or the inmates, and Milstead was the one that um, stepped up and worked to get a, a different jail, safer jail than we had, and so I credit him for that. But through all the rewards that come with being sheriff, Milstead is ever mindful of his toughest days on the job. You know, I've had people die in our custody. Um, Lost a staff member, Steve Majeski, working across the street um, in the line of duty, uh, had a medical emergency. Um, and that probably tops the list. Losing an officer. When it comes to making tough decisions through the years, Milstad looks down the street from his office and applies what he calls the Minnesota Avenue rule. I imagine pulling about the first 50 cars coming down Minnesota Avenue here, have them all pull in the parking lot, get on the hood of their car, and have a discussion and say, here's my choice. I have a decision to make. What's in the best interest of the people? Milstead says community involvement has been a key to his success as sheriff. He begins his sixth term in office, unsure of whether it will be his last. But whenever retirement comes for Milstead, he's confident his replacement will seamlessly step into office and carry on. This is not about me. It's about we. It's about the people that we have working here. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Perry Groton. Milstead says among his goals for his next term as sheriff will be to build upon already strong working relationships with other law enforcement agencies, including the Sioux Falls Police Department. He says such coordination will improve his department's response capabilities so that more experienced officers are available to be dispatched to large emergencies.